Hi everyone, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 9 Science. Now we are discussing 12th lesson Biodiversity. I have divided this lesson into several parts. Now we are discussing the first one. So our first subtopic is introduction to biodiversity. Recall the field visit you attend in lower grades. During those field visits, you would have experienced different types of environment. They can be beaches, forest, monsoon forest and grassland. A system that includes all living organisms, that means biotic factors, in an area as well as its physical environment, that means abiotic environment factors, interacting with one another as unities known as an ecosystem. When different ecosystems are considered, the animals and plants in these systems are varied. The physical environment and climate factors of those ecosystems are also different. The diversity among these ecosystems is known as ecosystem diversity. Think about the living organisms in ecosystem. In ecosystem, there are many species of animals and plant as well as many species of microorganisms. With regard to these species, there is a great variety of characteristics in the body shape, size, new nutritional patterns and reproduction. The diversity among the species is known as species diversity. This figure shows you some species of living organism, bacterium, grass, coconut tree, ulva, snail, parrot are the examples. Now, are there any differences in living organisms of the same species? You have to find out by doing a simple activity. You have to tabulate your answers. Then I gave you a table, features and number of students. The first one is A. Have ability to roll the tongue. B. No ability to roll the tongue. Likewise, you have to tabulate the number of students with those students have those features. With three ear lobes, without attached ear lobes, with black eyes, with brown eyes, with straight hair, with curly hair, with right-handed one, left-handed one. Likewise, you can tabulate the number of students. So you can get different, some kind of idea. Modern man belongs to the species Homo sapiens sapiens. Through the above activity, you would have understand that even within the same species, there are differences among the individuals. Now you can see humans of Homo sapiens sapiens with different features. You can understand the difference among these humans in this figure. The reason for these differences of certain species is genetic diversity. There is a diversity among ecosystems and the organism living. There is a diversity among the living species. Not only that, there is a diversity among the organisms of the same species. Biodiversity is the combination of ecosystem diversity, species diversity and genetic diversity. So our next subtopic is importance of biodiversity. Both large and small creatures in an ecosystem plays a significant role in maintaining the equilibrium of the certain ecosystem. Higher biodiversity in an ecosystem also increases the well-being and the stability of the ecosystem. The beauty of the environment increases due to the biodiversity. We know that Sri Lanka is a country with a rich biodiversity. Sri Lanka has been named as the country with the highest density of flowering plants, reptiles, amphibians and mammalians in the Asian region, which biodiversity is a strong reason for the tourist attraction. Biodiversity has reduced the competition between the species. Organisms are always in the competition for their needs. When considering the plant world, they are competing for the needs that should be 
used for the environment such as light, space, water and air. When considering the animal world, animals are competing for the requirements such as habitat, food, security and choice of partners. Biodiversity helps to minimize this competition among the living organisms. Let's see how biodiversity acts trees to minimize the competition for water. The roots of different trees are adapted to take water from different levels in soil. Now you can see root adapted to minimize the competition of water. First one, deeply rooted plants are there. Second one, plants with roots and surface of the earth. Third figure shows you a plant with roots that can be absorbed water from the atmosphere. So they are adapting to minimize the competition of water. We know that the beak of different bird species are different in shapes. This is important to reduce the competition of food. Various birds depend on various foods and their beaks are adapted shaped according to the diet. You can see the diversity of beaks among birds. The wild types of most plants and animals used in agriculture are found in natural eco ecosystems. Genes that are resistant to pests, adverse environmental conditions and illnesses are available in these wild types. Because biodiversity is the possible to use these genetic materials in favorable manner in agriculture. Due to the biodiversity, some species are endemic to each region. Species that can be seen only in one geographical region or country are known as endemic species. Humans conserve these endemic species due to this rich biodiversity. Now you can see some species endemic to Sri Lanka. Blue magpie, jungle fowl, Trilava, Bandula petia, green pit viper, Ashoka petia. This biodiversity helps to protect the water resources and soil to maintain favorable favorable climatic condition and minimize environmental pollution. Biodiversity is very important for entertainment, various research works and educational activities.